As I mentioned previously, sodium iodide is still one of the most commonly used scintillators for radiation measurement, and this includes spectrometry and spectroscopy. It's still the most common, but why? We discussed that it's very bright, it's very dense, it has a very fast decay time, it's inexpensive, and it's readily available. It's still the first choice in many common applications, like geographic surveying and environmental measuring, for instance, uh, monitoring spills or performing land reclamation. Health physics, another application, both in small and large institutions. In nuclear medicine, there's medical imaging, radiopharmaceuticals, uh, security uh, monitoring, rather, at portals or in mobilized fashions at large gatherings. It doesn't have to be really fine resolution, but it does have to be good enough to spot things that may be dangerous. And this includes, of course, things like special nuclear materials and so forth. It's well suited for all of that. X-ray applications. If thallium doping, if you increase it just a little more than the typical one-tenth of one percent, it's a great scintillator at measuring x-rays. There you have it. We've covered the history, properties, and applications of sodium iodide. We invite you to check back at www.berkeleynucleonics.com. Contact us on the phone number and the email address on your screen, or contact me directly. I'm Mark Slattery, Applications Manager at BNC. We hope you've enjoyed the video. More importantly, we hope it's given you some options and ideas to consider before your next application requirements. Thanks for watching. Bye now.